Hi, I'm Priscilla. I'm Dr. Lou's medical assistant. This is Sarah. She's going to show us um, how to properly wear your cervical collar after surgery. Okay, so this is what your cervical collar will look like disassembled. This is on the back. It'll go on the back of your neck. It can be adjusted depending on how long your neck is. It will slide up and down just like that. This is the front part that will be worn under your chin. Uh, it's also adjustable depending on how long your neck is and how much support that you need at the time. It can be adjusted by pulling out this knob and turning clockwise or counterclockwise. This is how you put it on and this is how you should be wearing it after surgery. This piece goes up under your chin and then you would make adjustments accordingly. This piece gets attached here and then it goes around and straps over on this side. It should never be too tight or too loose. Collars will also come with additional pads. These pads will pop right off with Velcro and then you can wash them in the sink. Okay, these pads here are also notorious for irritating your skin, especially in the summer months. Uh, we do recommend that if it does irritate your skin to get a soft cloth that feels good to you and just tuck it in this area. If not, you can use lanolin cream that on the irritated area, just make sure that the incision site stays dry. Okay, so patients will always receive two collars. This is the one that will be worn 24 hours a day for at least four weeks following surgery. This one is to be worn whenever you shower. You wear it the same way, it just doesn't require any adjustments.